Hi everybody! Let me share with you my first experience with Canon's new EOS 1300D. On the 10th of March 2016, Canon launched its new entry-level DSLR camera, the EOS 1300D or Rebel T6 in America. It looks interesting to those who would like to get into DSLR photography switching from a compact camera or a smartphone. Easy operation, automatic settings, Wi-Fi connectivity for sharing, just like with a point and shoot camera. Usually DSLR photography looks to be challenging to beginners. When you first have it in your hands, you see the mode dial with different settings, a lot of buttons, you could feel yourself lost. And then, to make your life even more complicated, you also have the possibility to use different lenses. Oh my god, photography looks so complicated! But the reality is that with EOS 1300D, even first-timers can take great pictures straight out of the box and share them using the built-in Wi-Fi. Let's see why I say this. It is easy to start. The Scene Intelligent mode, which is the default factory setting, puts the camera in full control and chooses the right settings for you. Just like with your small compact camera. And if you want more, just twist the mode dial and you can start experimenting with specific subjects like pictures without flash, creative auto, portraits, landscape, close-up or macro mode, sports photography, the new food mode, night portrait or movie mode for full HD recording. The menu system of Canon is clear and easy to use. A built-in feature guide will help you learn more about your camera. This, together with Canon's companion app, will really help you to develop your photography. If you want to be more creative, you can also apply a set of creative filters in camera to your images like grainy black and white, soft focus, fisheye, toy camera effect. You can even combine them and save them as a separate file. I will show you how to do this in a separate video, just don't forget to subscribe. So, the EOS 1300D, besides being a good starting point in DSLR photography, will also give you the extra functionality to advance. You can take advantages of the semi-automatic or full manual control modes. Simply turn the mode dial and start using the program shutter priority, aperture priority or the full manual modes. This camera is equipped with an 18 megapixel resolution Canon CMOS sensor. It is not the highest resolution in this category, but sometimes less resolution could mean less noise, better color and contrast. So this sensor will give you a good balance between noise and resolution, which is large enough for cropping or for large size prints. This APS-C size sensor is roughly 20-25 times larger than a smartphone sensor and more than 11 times larger than the standard compact camera sensor. This will result in great photos, especially in low light and giving shallow depth top fields making your subject stand out against the background. It has the Digic 4 Plus processor which is better than the previous in the 1200D and makes better quality pictures, especially in low light environment without using a flash. It has a 9-point autofocus system with a cross-type sensor in the middle. It will give you much faster focusing compared to usual compact cameras or smartphones. If you want to capture action, you can shoot at the speed of 3 frames per sec, which is not the fastest, but still gives you a good result. You can continue shooting till more than 1000 JPEG images in one burst. For high image quality, you can also shoot in RAW format, but then you need a RAW converter. I really recommend to install and use the Digital Photo Professional RAW image processing software from Canon. It does a great job and it is included in the price with some other useful free of charge applications. I think that one of the main benefits of this camera is the built-in Wi-Fi connectivity. This will help you to store and share your photos. Just connect your camera to a smartphone or tablet and review your images or download them to your smart device. You can also activate web services and then you can post, sync or backup your images. You can also remote control your camera. Use your smart device as a screen and remote controller and take pictures when you are away from your camera. This is also a nice way 
to make your selfies if there is no one around to help. You just need to download and install the free of charge Camera Connect app from App Store or Google Play. Unfortunately, Windows Phone users still have to wait a bit. Using the Wi-Fi connectivity, you can upload your images directly from the camera to Facebook, Twitter, Flickr or YouTube. Just have a look on my activating web services video. So, you can also upload your images easily to Canon's Connect station and then you can enjoy them on your TV. Shooting video is the other area which will add a lot to upgraders. You can record your movies in a more professional looking Full HD quality. And thanks to the large APS-C size sensor, you can shoot with a shallow depth of field to add that cinematic flair to your movies. You also have the possibilities and the advantages of using different lenses in your videos. Movies taken with large sensors usually give better video quality, especially in low light, resulting in a more artistic look. If you are used to videos shot on smartphones or small compact cameras, you will immediately see the differences. Just switch to video, focus on the subject and shoot the movie. The sound will be recorded with the built-in microphone. You can select between different sizes like Full HD, which is 19, 20 by 1080 with 25, 24 or 30 frames per sec or 1280 by 720 with 50 or 60 frames per sec and VGA resolution with 25 or 30 frames per sec. It is recorded using the H.264 codec stored in a MOV format. It is also nice that video recording can be also set to use the video snapshot mode. It will allow you to record a video sequence by applying different 2, 4, 8 second clips lengths. You can record a series of short clips which can be automatically joined together in a video sequence. The camera offers the same manual control in movie mode as you have in stills. And this is important for creative movie recording. You can also control the sound. As a summary, I can say that if you look around on the market and Canon's EOS 1300D or Rebel T6 compared to similar category cameras will give you more value with the built-in Wi-Fi connectivity. You can remote control your camera, it is great when you want to do insert sharing or backup to the cloud. Using dynamic NFC with compatible devices makes connectivity even easier. Simple button layout, straightforward menus, good ergonomics and the possibility to use different lenses, flashes and other accessories makes it a good choice. I would recommend these cameras to those who has limited budget but still would like to get into the world of DSLR photography and videography. And with the help of Companion app you can also learn more about your camera and photography. You can also check it out in a separate video how to use this Companion app. And if you have any other questions, just write it in the comment and I will come back to you. And also don't forget to press like and subscribe to get my future videos about some tips and tricks using this camera. Thanks for watching.